Hey, how's it going today? In today's video, we're going to cover seven different Zoom games that are geared more towards adults. And before we get started, one thing you want to keep in mind is some of these games are board games and you will need at least one person to have this particular game in order to play it. And because of that, you'll want to set a moderator for whomever that person is who has the game. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started today. Okay, so the first game on the list is a game called Game of Things. Now, Game of Things is a card-based game in which the reader will read the card. Something like, things you shouldn't attempt to juggle. Then, each player will write down a response to things you shouldn't attempt to juggle. They will then text this particular answer to the reader Next, the reader will read each person's response without giving away the name of the person who wrote it. Listen to the left of the reader gets to go first, and he or she tries to guess who wrote each particular response. If you get it right, the person gets to keep going. If they get it wrong, then it goes to the next person, and they get to do the same thing. Keep going in the circle until all of the responses are chosen correctly. The person who gets the most responses correctly is the person who wins that particular round. Okay, next on the list we have a game called What Do You Mean? Normally you would use the pre-written responses that are in the box here already. Um, however, we're going to make a slight variation to this game due to the fact that we are on Zoom and we still want to play. So what we'll do is make it like Game of Things where you are going to think of your own responses and then text those to the reader who will then give out the responses. And then, in like Game of Things, each player would get a chance to guess and take a turn until all the responses have been guessed. Do you think you're the smartest person in your group? Well, let's take that challenge by playing the next game called Smartass. Now, Smartass is described as each who, what, and where am I card has 10 clues. And guess what? You never have to wait for your turn in Smartass. Just yell out the answer as soon as you know it. Timing is everything for the true Smartass. Jump in too early and you may blow your chance. Wait too long and the Smartass next to you might steal the show. When will you throw your shoe in the ring? Smartass is going to test your knowledge in different things like where am I, who am I, or what am I. The effect of the game is to read the clues on the card. And as you go down the clues, there will be 10 of them. And as you read each clue, players can jump in at any time and try to answer the question. If they get it right, they win and they get a chance to move on the board. This would be one of the games where at least one of your friends must have this particular game and we'll have to act as a moderator to move the different board pieces and to read out the question. So in this particular case the moderator is not going to get to play unless you have someone else who's willing to be the moderator that's at the same house. Do you know the average number of pizza slices eaten by Americans each day? Who knows? And that's part of the fun. But everybody can guess. If you're a betting person and you think you have the smarts then the next game really is right up your alley and this game is called Wits and Wagers. Now, Wits and Wagers is a trivia game that lets you bet on anyone's answer. So you can win by making educated guesses, by playing the odds, or by knowing the interest of your friends. The moderator will read a question, and then each of you will give your best guess for the answer to that question. The moderator then will lay down everybody's guesses on the table, and then each player will bet the coins on whom they believe had the best answer without going over the correct answer. And whomever is the closest, your particular coins will pay out a certain amount based on where you place the bets. So how can you play this particular game on Zoom? In this game, it doesn't matter if you know whose answer is who. All you need to know is where to place the particular person's answers on the table. And then each player will get a chance to put their bet on whichever answer they believe is correct. Okay, in the next three games, we're going to move away from actual physical board games or needing any type of particular requirement. So this next game, it's a pretty wide known game called charades. This is one game that you won't need anything else except for words or phrases. My suggestion would be is that the moderator puts these particular phrases in a cup or a jar and then draws the phrase for each team to play. One person from each team must act out the phrase or the word and then the players must try to guess what the actor is doing before the time runs out. Look, acting out these phrases aren't really something you and your friends want to do. There is another fun game called Pictionary going to be the same idea. You're going to need to grab some phrases. You can find these online. If you happen to have a board game already, you can pull up from there, uh, but you can easily find these online and just come up with some phrases on your own. And then the same idea, you would just draw a phrase out of the hat and the team would have to now draw that particular phrase or word. And then the rest of your team will try to guess what the person is drawing. Quick tip for this, if you happen to have a whiteboard and dry eraser, this will make it a lot easier for the rest of your team to see, as obviously you'll be playing on Zoom, and you need something big enough in order for the rest of your team to see. If you do not have a whiteboard and markers, then the next idea would be to grab a paper with a darker marker on it, so that it is easier to see when you're looking at Zoom. 
And the last game that we have on our list is called Read My Lips. Now, Read My Lips is simply going to be another grab some phrases off of line. You can even have the player text the phrase to the speaker who is now going to turn off their mic on the Zoom app and they're going to say the words, but you won't be able to hear what they're saying. And then the object is to guess what the person is saying. Okay, that wraps up our seven Zoom games that you can play with your friends. And if you play one of these games, let us know in the comments below. Let us know which one of these seven is your favorite that you would try. And folks, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video, and we'll see you in the next one.